Well, we like to think as, as a restaurant group that we're doing our own thing. So we don't set out to be set apart from anyone else or anything else. What we're doing is something that we believe is a reflection of Italian cooking in Australia, in particular in Melbourne. Well, we like to cook very seasonally here at Grossi Restaurants, so the freshest and most seasonal produce is really important to us. The grill is really focuses on a Tuscan style of cooking. I guess that's what sets it apart from our other venues. We do allow little bits and pieces to creep in from other regions, but because in Tuscany they use um, wood-fired grills a lot, and you know you've got you think those beautiful steaks like the Chianina beef, the Fiorentina cut from the Chianina beef, which is a massive. Uh, T-bone steak, which is usually eaten between two or three people. These animals are very large. Um, and we try and vary the cuts too. It's not just all about the primal cuts. Um, we've got a great hanger steak on at the moment. So we, we try and vary it like that. And I guess that's what is, is very different about this venue in particular. It really relies on that freshness, really great homemade pastas, amazing antipasto, but the grill is a real feature here. I think we've definitely using the grill a lot more now than what we ever did because it's such a feature um, and we we have de we definitely lean on the on the grill a lot more than what we used to before from the moment you walk in the door when the wood's smoking and burning it adds to the atmosphere straight away you already know you're in a place that's burning real wood um, and it brings a flavor to the food it's really given us uh, a new layer, a new dimension, if you'd like, in the cooking um, because of that lovely smoky flavour that's imparted on the meats. And it's also taught us to deal with things in a very different way because it's not just a question of switching on the gas and controlling it that way. You have to actually learn to work with the, the nature of it. And, um, you know, our chef Mario from in here is really just eating it alive. He loves it. So it's, it's been a really good journey, actually. I think the, all of the grill and our coal burning oven are the signatures here in the grill. But if I had to pick out something that's not off the grill, it would be the Testaroli di Pontremoli, which are a really simple pasta-like dish. Um, but of course, it's not a pasta. It's made with flour and water, and they're cooked in really big pans called the Testo. Um, and they're big iron pans that, again, go onto the wood fire grill to get really, really hot. And, and then this batter-like um, pancake mix is poured into the testo. It sets in there and cooks and goes really toasty. And then that's cut up, boiled like pasta, and dressed really simply with olive oil and parmigiano, um, basil. And it's just, it's, it sounds so simple, and, but it's just delicious to eat. I keep my passion by working with amazing people like what you see behind me. Um, they are empowered by their passion and they want to be the best professionals they can be. We mention produce a lot. Produce keeps me always fired up and thinking. Um, new things come to the restaurant every day and I get together with my brother-in-law and my chefs and we just talk about it, what can we do with this and how can we improve what we do. With Victoria has got great produce um, and fantastic people that want to bring you that stuff to, your, to, your, to the back door of your restaurant virtually. And our backyard is full of rich and delicious things. And once upon a time, there was a lot of lip service towards it, but now I think the chefs are really on board, they're really focused, and it's, a true, it's an easy story to sell, and especially because it's a true story. So just, you go the extra effort, and you have something that's fantastic to put on your plate for your guests, and they really appreciate it.